chapter four. Right, that was eleven. Now was it eleven? Yes. Now on to question twelve. Let's have a look then. Question twelve. So, f of x equals x x minus two squared. Sketch on separate bar graphs, um, they want y equals f of x, and they also want, we're doing a different color, y equals f of x plus 3. And on the sketch, they want the coordinates of the point where each graph crosses or meets the axes, two marks apiece. Okay. So, let's have an axis. So what do we have here? We're going to have a positive x squared, so it's going to look something like that. Okay, and it's going to have three roots. Um, one is going to be an x equals zero. One is going to be an x equals two and the second one is also going to be x equals two so we better have two marked on here in terms of the c point okay minus two times minus two minus two times minus two is equal to four but times by zero gives us zero, so it's going to come through zero, it's going to just touch there, be quite flat, and come up there. So here we go, up here, Ooh, let's try that again. Like that. So we get zero, we get minus two, and we should really put on the y's, and the arrows, and the x. Now they want to see it all for x plus 3. Okay, so if we just take that. There it is. I'm going to just bring it up here beside it. So plus 3. Plus 3 moves it in a minus 3 direction, so it'd be moving to 1, 2, 3, like that. And that would make it this, minus 1. It would also move it from 0 to minus 3. And it would also have the effect of moving this point to a point on the axis. So what are our roots when it comes through there? We've now got something which has um, roots that are um, x plus 3 and x plus 1 squared. So we've got 3 times 1 times 1, which is 3. Let's try that out. 3 times 1 times 1, which is 3, which is 3. There we go. I think that's all in for question 12. Okay. Review exercises. There, there, question 13. And then onto the challenges after that. Okay. So, question 13. Given that f of x is equal to. 1 over x, and x is not equal to 0. Sketch the graph f of x minus 2. OK. And state the equation equations of the isotopes. OK. So. Starting with an axis. So 
So we come across like that, and we come across like that. That's 1 over x, OK? And there, that is f of x. OK? And the isotope on that is at 0. Now then. OK, because it doesn't ever touch that 0. So there would be a dotted line on that 0. It just gets very close to it. OK, y equals 0. When you have f of x minus 2, we are going to be dropping the whole graph down by 2, which means that isotope is going to come down here to minus 2. OK, and I'm going to show the isotope with the dotted line, like that. And then the actual graph will look something like this. OK, so isotope ASY um, Y equals minus 2. OK, find the coordinates of the point where the curve Y of f of x cuts a coordinate axis. So now we are looking for this point here. OK, and that is the point where y equals 0. So if we take the graph of y equals 1 over x minus 2 and say, where does that equal 0 on the y-axis? We are left with the, just the x to find. So we end up with 2 is equal to 1 over x x multiplied by x, 2x, divide by the 2, half. So x is equal to a half. So the point that it cuts this coordinate axis is a half. Okay. Now they want us to do sketch the graph of y equals f of x plus 3. Oh, they wanted isotopes. We've got minus 2 there, but we've also got, just realized, that we've got um, an x equals 0 isotope on that one as well. OK, sorry, almost forgot. Now, number C, number C, what am I like? Um, C, they want to know about f of x plus 3. And they want to sketch the graph of that. Well, that's going to be the original graph, but they're going to want it um, plus 3. So instead of 3 to the right, it's 3 to the left. OK, so if we get minus 3 here, and I'm going to draw it on this, better label this one up, f of x minus 2, f of x minus 2, equals. and now in green, I'm going to do f of x minus 3. So it's going to come here on the 3, and it's going to scoot down like that, and it's going to scoot across like that. OK. State the equation of the isotopes and coordinates of the point where the curve cuts the coordinates. So again, isotopes. It's going to be y equals 0, and it's going to be x equals minus 3. OK, where it cuts the y-axis, because we now need to find this result here. OK, and that is when x is equal to 0. So if you've got y equals 1 over x plus 3, we want to know what the y value is when the x is 0 meaning y is equal to a third. So that point there is a third. And that's it, except for the challenge question now, which I'm going to do in a separate video.